Now, Bitcoin, you know, clearly, if you look at the price of Bitcoin right now, it is barely, all right, it is barely above $26,000. And if you look at the monthly candle, I want you to take a look at the monthly candle of Bitcoin. This right here does not look bullish, but it also doesn't look bearish. You know, it looks, you know, somewhere in the middle. It is undecided. All right, both you know the bears and the bulls. It is 50-50. Right? You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't think this is bullish right here. And I also wouldn't think this is bearish. All right? So it is 50-50. But the reason, right? The reason behind a potential crash from now until Sunday, it is this right here. All right? It is the performance of Bitcoin in September historically. So in many of my recent updates, you know, we talked about that the first half of 2023 is more likely going to be bullish. And that is exactly what we, what we saw. And we also talked about that the second month of uh, the second half of 2023 is more likely to be bearish. And that is exactly what we're seeing right now. And we also talked about, you know, these last couple months of 2023, we talked about September historically is bearish and we speculated that September was going to be bearish, you know, based on this data that we have right here. If you look at the performance of Bitcoin, you know, in September since 2013, Bitcoin has only been bullish in September two times. And that was in 2015 and in 2016. But if you look at, you know, the other Septembers, uh, Bitcoin has been bearish. But right now, you know, with five days left in September, you know, Bitcoin is bullish. And in fact, it is up over a percent in the month of September. So I want to talk about, you know, based on the historical performance, I want to talk about what the last five days of September you know, could potentially look like. And because I think September is going to be bearish, you know, based on the stats that we have, I think this week is going to be extremely volatile. And I wouldn't rule out a potential drop in the price of Bitcoin, you know, anywhere between a 3 to a 7% drop from now until Sunday. So this upcoming Sunday, we are going to have the monthly close. If the monthly close was to close right now, you know, Bitcoin will be bullish in September by 1%. But because we have, you know, five more days and because of the nature of Bitcoin, because of the volatility of Bitcoin, I wouldn't rule out a potential drop in these five days. So that is the reason behind my speculation that these next couple of days, you know, Bitcoin could potentially be volatile and we could potentially get a crash again, anywhere between a three to a 7%. So the reason between a three to a 7%, you know, if you look at the, you know, the last couple of Septembers, uh, in 2019, you know, Bitcoin was down 13%, uh, 2020, 7%, 2021, you know, 7%, uh, 2022, 3%. So I think if we do the average of these last couple of years, all right, and if you also look at 2018, uh, Bitcoin was down 5%, 2017, 7%. So I think if we do the average of these last couple of years, it is going to give us anywhere between a three to a seven percent drop. So let me show you what that could potentially do to the price of Bitcoin, or uh, in terms of you know price targets. So if we were to get you know a three to a seven percent crash from twenty six thousand and one hundred dollars, uh, that would bring the price of Bitcoin a three percent drop you know, brings the price of Bitcoin into the low $25,000 range. Uh, so basically, 
retesting the recent lows, right? These lows right here. And if we were to get a 5% drop, you know, that brings the price of Bitcoin into the, into the mid $24,000 range. All right, so $24,500. And if we were to get a 7% drop, you know, that brings Bitcoin into the low $24,000 range. So right here. And again, lots of support right here in this range right here. So that's what a 3 to a 7% drop would do to the price of Bitcoin. And in terms of potential price targets, you know, you're looking at mere $24,000 and you're also looking at the low $24,000 range and maybe in the higher $23,000 range. Interestingly, you know, if you look at potential targets, if we were to see another drop, you know, you have targets right here. All right, $24,000. $500, uh, $600. Uh, this is a very key level right here on the monthly time frame. And then, all right, you also have, you know, the bodies of these two massively, uh, these two massive, you know, monthly candles, you know, right here around $23,000. Uh, interestingly, again, you know, if you go to the weekly time and you look at $23,000 all the way up to 24,000, you know, this is a very, very important range, you know, in terms of structure. And, you know, if the price of Bitcoin was to drop in here, you know, I think you have, you know, a lot of support. There's going to be a lot of support before the price of Bitcoin goes any lower than this. So I'm very confident that in this $23,000 and $24,000 range, you know, Bitcoin is going to get a lot of support. All right. It is going to get a lot of support if we were to drop here, you know, sometimes this week. Again, you got five days from today until Sunday. On Sunday, we are going to have a Bitcoin monthly close. Historically, Bitcoin has been bearish in September. You know, so far, Bitcoin is, is positive in September, up 1%. But because of the nature of Bitcoin, you know, because of the volatility of Bitcoin, it would be a big mistake, you know, to rule out a potential drop in the price of Bitcoin, closing the monthly candle negative, I think it would definitely be a very, very, very big mistake. So we are going to continue to monitor. Uh, we don't know how big, if we do get the drop, we don't know how big it's going to be. Uh, but also, if Bitcoin is positive in September, then the last three months of 2023 will be extremely interesting. And the reason is because, you know, if you look at historically, uh, historical performance, you know, September tends to be negative. October tends to be bullish. November tends to be bullish as well. But December tends to be negative. 